Ready? Knock, knock. Who's there? Mommy. Mommy who? Mommy! Yes! <laughs> You know both my names, my first and last name. Hey guys! So I'm gonna do a video about Haley's leg and foot, but I'm actually gonna send this little girl right at the bed, but I thought I would put her in the beginning of this video, hey? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm here to do an update on Haley's leg. A lot of you have noticed in vlogs and stuff that she walks like in, like she, her foot is in and like she's really clumsy with it and stuff, like a lot of you have noticed. Ever since she was a baby, she's been going to physio, like since as soon as she came home from the hospital and even then they were concerned about her leg. From the start, it's always been questionable if she has cerebral palsy or not from the way that her muscles are reacting. So we're in the process of finding out if it is cerebral palsy or not and we did not find out if it was cerebral palsy or not, but we did find out this time and I'm also gonna tell you this new thing that I found out that actually is quite concerning to me uh, about Haley's leg. So we went to the orthopedic cerebral palsy clinic in Children's Hospital in Vancouver and we weren't seen by the doctor, we were seen by like the pre-doctor. She's not like a nurse but she's like, she's pretty high educated, she takes like a bunch of like information and then like gets it to the doctor, I don't know, like I guess it's based on a urgency matter, like if it's like the child is causing harm to their body every time they walk or whatever then we get in like right away but I'm not exactly sure how that works, it's something like that. And I swear on this day, Haley was having like the worst leg day. Like when I watched her walk and when the doctor asked her to run and stuff, I, it was crazy because usually it's like her legs a little bit in, but this time I swore it was like she was walking like this and it's not usually like that. What she noticed right away is that she, well, we're gonna pretend my arm is a leg. She, and this is like the front and the back so that she doesn't really use her front leg muscle, she uses the back leg muscles and you can actually see like there's a bulge in her back leg muscle. So when you're using the back leg muscles instead of your front, it makes like this somehow like, I don't know, this like points in, I'm not really too sure. It, it's pretty much that. So because these muscles are weak, these muscles are working extra hard and which is causing the muscle to turn in. From what she saw and the way that the muscles were reacting, she thinks it's more so cerebral palsy than just like a muscle or whatever problem. She thinks it's mostly cerebral palsy. The new thing that we've never noticed before, never been told, nobody's ever caught on to is that one of her legs is actually shorter than the other. Not only is her leg shorter than the other, but her foot is smaller than the other one. It's not like a huge difference, but when she told me that her leg was shorter at first, it like made so much sense how she like when she is like walking or running it always seems like she's like stomping down kind of on that one leg and then uh, she said though that the good thing about the one leg being shorter like the one with all the problems is that it actually makes it so that she probably trips less because she, I don't know something about the shortness she's probably like just missing her foot or something so it's kind of beneficial but not really and then the foot thing makes a lot of sense that it's smaller because I try shoes on and like whenever we're buying shoes and I'll put it on her and then like she'll scream bloody murder when we get home when we put it on that it's too small. It's like how is it too small? We tried it on in the store. Like it's not like that happens a lot but there is sometimes where it's like there isn't the size up so we really need whatever shoe like preschool shoe. We needed an indoor preschool shoe and there wasn't a bigger size so I was like okay this just barely fits like it's not gonna last you forever but yeah she like was not very happy when we put it on her when we got to preschool so those things like it was like oh my god this makes so much sense. Also when you look at the back of her leg you can tell like it's noticeably different like her normal leg it doesn't you can't see like a muscle formation really it just looks like a leg and then the other one that has the muscle problem that's shorter, it's much skinnier and you can like see like the bulge of the muscle and everything. And then like the ankle is so much smaller and yeah, it's not like a huge difference right now, but it is something that we have to watch. And and be, this is also a sign of cerebral palsy. So yeah, if you guys aren't familiar with cerebral palsy, it's caused by brain damage, like it's either before they were born or after they were born. What, Ailey? So that means that her leg problem is fully related to her being born premature. Most of the girls' problems are because of being premature. Like, it doesn't, like, they are all so random, but 
the seriousness of being born premature, people don't really understand. I'm so grateful for the fact that this is the kind of cerebral palsy she has. It's very mild, it's like hardly noticeable. Like you wouldn't even know that she has it if it wasn't like trained professionals telling you. So I'm really blessed that it is as mild as it is, but it still sucks. For treatments, she's definitely going to need a brace in her future. The person says that it would probably just be at nighttime because it's not really gonna benefit her. She can walk and stuff during the day, so it'll probably just be a nighttime brace. So every night we would just have to put that on her. I don't know how for how long. She'll probably need surgery on the muscles, is what she said. And the I asked about the leg thing because right now it's not noticeable, but I don't really want her to have to like wear a platform shoe when she's older because the other one is so much smaller. And they said that they would make sure that they are watching it and that if the other one is growing too much that they'll do something to prevent it from growing because that's easier than making the other one grow, but then there, there's also surgeries they can do to correct the size if I feel necessary, they said. Um, but right now, a big difference in height can cause hip problems, but right now it's not really causing any problems, which is good. And yeah, that's pretty much all I found out in the appointment, which is actually a ton to like get through and at you. Uh, especially when you th you're just going in for like a little turned in foot. Now we'll be going back when they turn five or just before they turn five. And they're gonna put little sensors on all of her joints, I think, to see how they move and if the problem is coming from her ankle or if it's coming from her knee or her hip or where it's coming from. And uh, I think that gives them a better idea because of hip problem, I don't know, I can't remember why. And then after that appointment, we will be seeing the actual doctor who will give us like official probably diagnosis and like a set like this is what's going to happen from here on out kind of thing. Probably a leg brace then. I'm not really too sure. But anyways, I thought I would update you guys because I do still get a lot of comments on her foot thing. It is noticeable. We are doing something about it. And a lot of you guys are asking if I have gone through with getting her looked at for super cerebral palsy and it's just taken a really long time to do this but anyways that's it for this video i will see you in our next one bye <laughs> you got a lipstick on you hmm? you see turn that way <laughs> okay we'll wash it off